Hey folks, welcome back. So I've had a little bit of time to spend on the uh, the drill press. And what I've got done, not a lot, but I did get that nut welded on the end. And uh, what I'm going to do in this video is just show you or tell you how I did it. So uh, what I did was, is just like I talked about in the first video, I actually put a bolt in through this thing. And because it was, uh, if you haven't seen this the other video, then have a look and then you'll see what my plan was. But this is a 5.8 bolt. Thread, put it in through and just left enough of the thread sticking out that I could put this nut on the end. Um, when I got this thing in, I tightened her down just as tight as I possibly could, just zinging tight. I even used a wrench against it and uh, and went over each one a few times because it seemed like every time I went over it, I could get a little wee bit more and uh, and made it just zinging tight. And then once this once that was when I put the nut on the end, what I did was I actually even tightened the nut against the chuck um, to make it even more secure. So. So then I just welded it, not a very pretty job, neither as you can see, I'm not much of a welder, especially with the welder I've got, it's only a cheap 110. If I had a MIG, I could have done a better job, but I, I would have had to go somewhere to get it done. So I, but I cut enough weld on that it's not going to go anywhere, and uh, you know, it's, it's turning out very true, as you can see here, if I spin it, you can see it's coming out very true, very happy with the way this is turned out, so... Um, the other thing that was mentioned in one of my videos or one of the comments was that this thing might unscrew if, if the drill were to stop, get stopped because I was forcing it too hard with the motor, unwind it and it, and it won't. It, what will actually happen is you can see if, I'm, if I was drilling, I, I would be, it would be like I was tightening this bolt into the chuck. So what would happen is it would actually try to tighten it a little bit more. So that's a good thing. And uh, the other thing that I talked about was having to put... Uh, a lock nut on it well I don't even have to do that what I'm finding is is there's enough room in this big chuck here that the bolt will be able to go in and uh, and bottom out on the nut and then I don't have to have the lock nut so it'll just you know the the more this thing tries to the turn the motor tries to turn the tighter it would try to make it so 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 far very happy with the way things are going so now I've just got to figure out a way to get an assembly like this moving up and down and for that you'll have to wait for the next video so hopefully you guys are having fun watching and hopefully you'll keep tuning in and we'll see you next time